Welcome, Itasca, from the great state of Minnesota, where I spent 12 years, land of 10,000 lakes, and congratulations, COD. Uh, Sam, congratulations on winning the award. It's a prestigious award, so I just want you to know that there's been some great athletes through the DuPage County area that has won that award, so do us proud. As they just said, I had a long journey being a kid that grew up around here. I just want to tell you guys a quick story. I went to Wheaton Central High School, which is the same high school that Ray Grange went to. I got a chance to meet him on two occasions. I met him when I was a freshman in high school and when I was a sophomore. And the second time I met him, I didn't realize who he was until I uh, finished high school and, and it dawned on me that he was one of the greatest football players I ever played in Chicagoland area. But more importantly, the thing that I, I take is that my high school field, I played on the original Red Grange High School field at Wheaton Central. And that high school field was named after him. So uh, you guys are in great uh, territory. You, 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 your, chance, your chance to play in a Red Grange Bowl. You guys won't really know who he is until you actually do a little research and, and figure out who he was and what he meant to football, particularly in this area and what he meant to football. In the, in the Big Ten and in the NFL. I just want to talk to you guys about your journey. A lot of you guys in this room, you're on a journey right now. You just don't realize it. You don't know where you're going, but you're trying to get where you're going. So I just want to give you guys some keys as you go along your journey. I grew up on the west side of Chicago. In fifth grade, my dad moved us out here to Wheaton, Illinois. From Wheaton, Illinois, I went to the University of Minnesota on a scholarship. I'm no different than any of you guys in this room. I dreamed it, I wanted it to be, but I had to put the work in. All of you guys wanna go somewhere, am I correct? Okay, how are you gonna get there? What are you willing to do? What are you willing to do when no one's watching? The one thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is education. Education is key. I wasn't the biggest, smartest, or strongest guy in the world, but I cheated. And I'll tell you how I cheated. Relax. I didn't cheat, cheat. I cheated. <laughs> I was that guy that if I had a class, if I had a test at 8 o'clock in the morning, I got up at 5 and just combed through the book. What I, what I didn't know or what I couldn't recall I would just work that, I worked a little bit harder. There's nothing wrong with working a little bit harder in life because everyone needs to dig in sometime. Life is not gonna be easy for you guys, but you can make it if you apply yourself and put the work in. I developed a skill set at an early age on and off the football field. I told you I worked extra hard in the classroom and I worked extra hard on the football field. I was that guy that did a little bit extra when no one was looking. How many of you guys can relate to that? When no coach is around, no other players around, what are you doing to prepare yourself to get better? Those are the things that you guys need to take with you as you leave here as you leave your junior colleges, and a lot of you guys, want, you, you're trying to prepare yourselves to go to the next level. How much are you gonna work? How much are you gonna put in? Trust me, guys, with my career, the people I've been around and the coaches I've played for, no one gets through life without putting the work in. So get your mindset and, and get ready to put the work in. There's no easy road. In the classroom, I wasn't a great student, but the one thing I was willing to do was work a little harder, okay? And because I knew that education, I was gonna play, I was gonna use my education longer than I was gonna play football. The one thing you guys gotta understand is that some of you are 18, 19, 20. 
Well, what you got to understand is you're not going to be playing football forever. So you got to prepare yourself now because the next 40 years are the most important years in your life. So you got to dig in now, do the work when no one's watching, and do it for yourselves. I had what they call building discipline. I don't know how I, how I did it, but I was just disciplined on the field and off the field. I, I wasn't that guy. I didn't get in trouble. I stayed away from the teammates or the people that got in trouble during my four years at the University of Minnesota. I had dreams and goals for myself. And I set those goals, but I set them with discipline. You guys have heard that word a million times in your life. But I just want you to know, it is true. The disciplined person is the person that gets ahead in life. The person that doesn't try to cut corners. Discipline yourself. Be true to yourself. Put the work in. One thing I did, and I want you guys to do this for yourselves, go the extra mile. Go the extra mile in the classroom and go the extra mile on the football field. A lot of times, guys want to cut corners. They think no one's watching. Be true to yourselves. You guys know what it takes to get to the next level. A lot of you guys want to get there, don't you? Okay, how are you going to get there? Put the work in, boys. To get to the next level, it's not just getting there, but it's what you do when you get there. Some of you are going to get to the next level. That could be Division Three. That could be Division Two. That could be Division One. Everyone in this room wants to go to the next level. When you get there, make sure you're prepared and you put the work in. Go to class. Be a good student. Be a better teammate. Work on and off the field to be the best person you can be. You will get what you put into this life on and off the field, but you guys got to be willing to do it. There's no easy way. The one thing I want to tell you guys, there's no free rides in life. But if you want to put the work in, your life will be good and you will be good to yourselves. I pray that each of you guys become good fathers, good husbands, and great mentors to the people in your community that you came from. Every last one of you guys will reach back and grab somebody and help them along the way. You just don't see it now because you're just now starting your journey. But as you go along your way in your journey, remember those things. Reach back and help someone. Make your journey what you want it to be. It's your journey. It's no one else's journey. You guys, you know, you guys have the ability to do whatever you want to do. So I pray to God that you do the things that you need to do and put the work in. Thank you.